I'll sort of <clears throat> um, start to kick off here in terms of presentation soon. But um, yeah, Emma, do you want to just quickly say hi since I uh, started to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Emma Dawson. I'm the director of partnerships at Civic Champs, but um, helping today support with anything you guys have questions about in the chat. And I'll also put some resources and some links in the chat for you guys as well. Um, but yeah, happy to be here. Um, I've done a couple of webinars. So if I haven't met you yet, um, great to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't want to, if you, in case, you know, sometimes they're like, who is this random person that's posting links in the chat? <laughs> so, um, and Melanie, I see you're in Indianapolis as well. That's great. I'm uh, just here a little north in Carmel. And so, yeah, if, you know, please do reach out and love to meet uh, folks in person, like I said earlier. All right. So today our topic is how to unlock current grants through your volunteer program. Um, and so a little quick background on myself. Uh, my name is Gong Wong. I'm the CEO and co-founder here at Civic Champs. Um, I went to school at Michigan State for my undergrad and then have um, an MBA from Harvard Business School. Um, I had spent a lot of time in corporates uh, with, with folks like McKinsey and Company and then had two tech startups, right? And so I uh, wanted to do something a bit more, um, uh, you know, with a bit more sort of social impact as everyone here on this call can certainly relate to, I'm sure. And so started Civic Champs about five years ago now, actually. Um, we had our birthday on January 24th. So um, it's just only been a couple of days since our fifth anniversary. So it's, uh, it's been a great ride. Um, and, and so, you know, obviously really passionate about volunteering. And, um, and so today's topic though, uh, or sorry, and then for us, right, in terms of our mission, <clears throat> You know, our, our goal is to create the most intuitive and impactful volunteer management software for nonprofits and, and your champions, right? And so real quickly, right, so for us, you know, we support nonprofits across the entire volunteer life cycle from recruiting, onboarding, scheduling, engaging, uh, retaining, and reporting, right? And so we have uh, some innovative technology, like we use geofencing with our mobile app as an example to really streamline things. Um, but that's what we do. Um, and so we've had a chance to also connect with the hundreds of nonprofits that we serve across the country. And one of the really interesting opportunities we've identified, you know, with by working with folks like United Way or Habitat or Big Brothers, Big Sisters, right, is this, this idea around um, uh, corporate volunteer matching grants. And some people really take advantage of them, others are less familiar. And so I, to start, I'd love to just hear from you all what your experience has been and just to get a sense of, um, you know, where everyone is. And so let me launch this poll here, um, make this a little bit more interactive. And so there's just three questions. And so if folks don't mind filling this out real quickly, um, love to get a sense of, you know, how many volunteers do, you, do folks have here on the call today? And then, um, you know, whether or not you're familiar with corporate volunteering grants, um, do you engage with companies today or not? Um, just want to make sure we can maybe hopefully tailor the presentation a little bit here. Right? And so we got, looks like about um, half the folks have already filled it out. And I'll share this uh, with everyone, you know, here in uh, a minute or so as, as folks complete the questionnaire. Oh, wow. Okay. Got 75 participation. Can we get to 80? Getting close. Oh, the goal line is also moving as I, I also see we have new folks joining us. So, <laughs> um, all right, well, I think we have, and we'll give folks maybe another five or 10 seconds. Great, all right. All right, I'm gonna end the poll here and then I'll share the results with everyone. Great. Um, so hopefully you all can see the poll results. Uh, <clears throat> and so looks like we have a, a pretty nice bell curve here in terms of uh, size of nonprofits with uh, the highest sort of in this 200 to 500 bucket range. Um, and, you know, all the way from, um, you know, 10 to 50 uh, to 1000 plus. So we have, you know, three folks with 1000 plus. Uh, but the vast majority of folks are sort of, I think, in this sort of hundred to a thousand range, right? So it's sort of in that bell curve in the middle there. Um, and then in terms of corporate matching grants, 
Um, again, we have a good distribution actually. And so maybe I'll ask for some folks to uh, share your personal experience in chat or maybe come, even come off mute uh, for the folks that have received funding uh, for corporate volunteer matching grants. Um, uh, and then others, right, if, if you've heard of them but haven't received funding, right, if there's any uh, areas that you've gotten stuck on in the past. And then of course, for the folks that haven't heard of it, you know, this obviously hopefully will will help educate and, and, and um, get folks to know more about this great opportunity. And then finally, you know, the third question here uh, in terms of engaging corporate uh, or companies uh, with group volunteering, it looks like almost about two thirds of folks uh, use corporate volunteering at least frequently or often. Um, and then there's about a third of folks here on the call that haven't really done that. And so uh, hopefully today can sort of inspire uh, people to, uh, to do more. And so, yeah, this is this is fantastic. Thank you for all for for sharing. And so to start, um, you know, for the folks that aren't aware of, you know, what is a volunteer matching grant? It's a type of corporate giving program where companies provide a donation match for volunteer hours. Right. And so a lot of these companies also have donation matches for donations, where if you give $10, they'll match $10 from their employees. Uh, but in this case, it's more the employees are volunteering for maybe, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 hours. And they'll say, hey, I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to, you know, donate on behalf of my employees, you know, 10, $15 an hour uh, to, to, you know, to double their impact, if you will. And there's actually three sort of different flavors of this. And so the first flavor is a dollar per hour match to any nonprofit that an individual employee can volunteer at. So this is probably the easy to understand, right? So like you can go to any 501c3 and they'll say, hey, that's great. You know, we'll, we'll match dollars per hours. Another one is, you know, number two is really around uh, companies that... <clears throat> maybe have select partners, right? They're maybe a little bit more structured in their approach and say, hey, we, we really support these four or five organizations in our local community. If you volunteer at any one of them, you know, we're gonna you know, sort of match your hours with a financial gift. And then the last one is, uh, is event-based. And so here, um, the idea is if you have uh, a group of, uh, volunteers from a company, they'll say, hey, you know, we'll, uh, we'll send, you know, 20 folks out. And as part of that event, we'll, you know, sort of match that with the donation, right? And so that's kind of three, three, three different flavors of this type of program. Um, and again, if folks have questions, feel free to ask them in the chat. I'll try to keep an eye on them. And certainly if we don't get to them right away, I'll circle back at the end. Awesome. And so what are the benefits of volunteer matching grants? And so the first one, of course, the no duh is <laughs> increased donations for your organization, right? You already have the hours. This is a great way to get additional donations and, 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 and financial contributions uh, for your organization, right? That's really simple to understand. Um, but I think the next one, right, it also allows you to foster closer relationships with your local companies, right? The, the organizations around you get the word out there, build these closer ties. Um, and a lot of them, like I said, have a donation match. And so once you're in their system, uh, you know, maybe to start as a volunteer, per, you know, uh, our match, um, they might also just have you in there as a uh, donation match. So now if their employees uh, will donate dollars as well, you know, then you're going to also get a match on those dollars, right? So it's a way to maybe activate that piece. The third piece here is it actually is, can be a way to increase volunteer retention and motivation. And so, for example, um, we'll dig into this, but many of these programs actually um, either have a requirement for minimum number of hours before they'll do a match, and so if you have someone that came in for a half day or a full day, four to eight hours, but maybe the match requires 20 hours a year, and you go back to them and say, hey, thanks so much for your gift of time today. Um, I don't know if you know this, but Walmart, Starbucks, right, has this program and they require 20 hour commitment, but then they'll donate to us, right? We'd love to, you know, uh, uh, you know, obviously, you know, we, you know, that's a, that's a, that's makes a huge impact on, on our, our organization. Um, and we'd love to have you back so we can, you know, sort of take advantage of this really generous offer from your employer. 
right? And so it helps provide another reason uh, for, for people to, to, to come back. And then the third thing here um, is if you think about uh, some of the grants that you're writing, uh, some of them are going to require match, uh, you know, matching donations, right? And so in many ways, right, this, if you're able to get this new revenue stream, um, you can actually use this, you know, in, in, in an entry, uh, inter interesting way, right, to actually match the requirements for other grants that you might be applying for. And then the really nice news here is 40% of Fortune 500 companies offer a matching gift program, right? So this is actually, if you think about, you know, so we do the quick math here. So that's roughly, you know, over 200 of the Fortune 500 companies have a program like this. Um, and these are oftentimes uh, companies that you, you know, sort of common household names, right? And on average, uh, or about 80% of the range, right, is, you know, they, they'll they match $8 to $15 an hour for their for their employee volunteering, right? So, you know, let's call it $10 an hour, so it's, you know, on the lower end of this range. But uh, what that means is someone volunteered for 10 hours with you all, um, the company will send a check for $100. And so, yeah, let's dive into a couple examples here to make it a bit more real. So these are some of the logos, right? So this is Starbucks, we have Exxon, um, we have Microsoft, Verizon, Elevance Health, and I believe this is um, uh, Allstate. Um, yeah, you're in good hands, right? That makes sense. I remember their jingle now. <laughs> um, and so what does it kind of look like? So here for Microsoft, uh, employees who volunteer can request a grant of $25 for every volunteer hour uh, that they do. Uh, we actually have a link here. We're going to send out the slides here. So if you actually see the slides, you can click on this specific link. Um, it'll give you details about their very specific program. Right? And it's called the Employee Giving and Corporate Giving Program. ExxonMobil is a $500 grant, <clears throat> excuse me, $500 grant uh, for an individual or team uh, of at least 20 hours. And so there's two different ways to trigger this. One person can volunteer for 20 hours, or if they come as a team, maybe five people for four hours, that will also trigger this $500 grant that they that they're, um, uh, that they can donate, right? And so uh, they call this the Volunteer Involvement Program, or VIP. Allstate, um, it's $500 or $1,000, and it requires four to 16 hours of volunteering. Um, this is one of the ones where it's an invite only process. So you'll actually need to uh, be on their approved list, right? So they call the Helping Hands Grants. And then Elevance, Elevance Health, uh, which is uh, one of the big uh, sort of Blue Cross Blue Shields um, out there, uh, they do $200 to $400 for individuals uh, or $250 to $500 for events, right? So everyone has, and they call it Dollars for Doers. And then finally, Starbucks is one of the easier uh, programs to, uh, to to understand. They just do a straight $5 per hour match uh, with a minimum of five hours and a maximum of a uh, of $1,000 match per fiscal year per employee. Right? Um, and so that's a Starbucks giving match. And I'm pretty sure every barista, every employee is qualified for this program. And so a little bit, you know, I thought it might make sense to actually dive in uh, to get a little bit more details for some of these, right, to, you know, maybe understand some of the fine print here. And so um, minimum donation eligible for matching is um, $25, right? So if you, so they also have a fiscal um, uh, match as well. So if you're donating to, to uh, their employees are donating to nonprofit, um, this is uh, a way to get those matched. Um, volunteer time, though, is $5 grant for each volunteer hour tracked in the community champion portal at a qualified nonprofit organizations. Um, and then so what does that mean, right? And so um, any Starbucks partner can re uh, request up to $1,000 uh, using a combination of volunteer hours and financial contributions. Um, all requests are, you know, subject to approval. And generally, though, you know, it's it's if you're a five hundred one c three, you'll be you know part of that appro you know approved list for these guys. 
Um, we have some links here, some instructions. And so we'll, we'll dig into this, but one of the things that's important, right, is to make sure your volunteers are aware of this opportunity if they're part of Starbucks or they're part of a company um, and sharing with them like, hey, here's how you can, you know, sort of ask for this from your employer. Um, Debbie says, are these available in Canada too? Um, I believe so, uh, but each, uh, I, I would say each company's CSR programs varies by country. And so the details might be a little bit different, right? And so typically they're uh, country specific programs, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure in Canada, they have very similar programs, uh, but the details might be a little, <clears throat> a little bit different, right? In terms of amount or, you know, obviously it's not gonna be in dollars it'll be, or not in US dollars, right? But Canadian dollars. And Melanie has a question. Is there an easy way to find a list of companies? Um, so I don't know if there's an easy way to find a full list of companies, uh, but certainly, obviously, you know, we're going to have a short list here, uh, but I'll, I'll show you another tool uh, and a partner that we use that could provide some guidance here in a little bit. Yeah, great questions. Yeah, keep them coming. And then finally, I thought, uh, you know, so Verizon will dig into one more in details here. And so their grant is $750, but they have a, uh, a significantly higher, uh, let's call it a cutoff, right? So it requires 50 hours of volunteering, uh, but but they'll give you a, you know, sort of bigger check for it, right? And so here, minimum donation eligible is $25. So on the donation side, it's, uh, it's a little bit lower threshold. So if anyone donates 25 bucks, um, up to $1,500, they'll sort of match that uh, dollar for dollar. Um, and then on the volunteer time, they do require 50 hours or more in a calendar year, uh, but then they'll, uh, they'll you know, cut a check for $750. Um, and that person, employee, can do this with two organizations per year, right? So some of the little fine print here. Um, you know, that has to be actual hours. Uh, so having some sort of way to help them track their engagement is helpful. Um, and then uh, it has to be outside of business hours, outside of their work hours, right? Um, and so they have, uh, you know, uh, some links here that we're sharing and, and, you know, where they would have to log in as an employee and then the program details here for folks I want to take a look. And so basically the idea here, right, is, if there's a Starbucks around you, if there's a Verizon store around you, if there's a Walmart around you, right? These might be organizations uh, that are, you know, worthwhile, you know, from this perspective of reaching out to and, and talking about this opportunity. And so here, it's a small list, right, of the, of the folks. Uh, we give, you know, it's just a quick summary of, of what we already discussed. Again, we have the links to each of their programs here. So in case this is helpful as, a, uh, as an easy way to access that. And then to Melanie, to your question, right? Is there a, a way to find these grants? Um, and so one of our partners, their name is Instrumental. Um, it's uh, without an E here at the end. Uh, they're a grant uh, search and management tool. Uh, they have a free trial as well. Um, I think it's a 30 day free trial um, and you could, you get access to everything, uh, but here you can actually use them to search for, you know, matching grants, right? And so there have the, you know, in this case, I think the, the screenshots showing the Ameriprise community grants um, and that you could see if they're, you know, they're volunteer matching opportunities, right? So that's uh, one way to search for these grants. If you Google it, uh, you know, say corporate volunteer matching grants, you know, there's a, you know, some other sites as well, including, you know, our blog articles and some, you know, some, some other resources, right? Double the donation is another good resource. Um, they, they have kind of a, uh, not a comprehensive list, but they, you know, maybe have a list of 10 to 12. So getting started, um, like I mentioned, the easiest way to think about who has a program like this um, typically, they're national employers that, that are going to have these programs or some really large regional ones, right? Um, they're more, most likely to have this volunteer matching grant program. Um, so identifying who those are, um, then, you know, our, our suggestion is to create a one-pager 
um, like a quick, like, Hey, here's the link to submit. Here's, you know, here's what you need to do, right? Just, you can even use the, um, materials, right, that we we're, we're sharing here on this presentation, um, just to give them an easy way to say, oh, yeah, great, I just have to click this thing, I log in, and I submit, boom, right, so, you know, make, make it easy for them uh, to, to help you, right? And then step three, right, is examining your existing volunteer database to identify any volunteers using corporate email accounts. And so, uh, you know, you, you might have various uh, platforms that you're using, um, you know, for, for, for civic champs, as an example, right, you could, uh, this is our dashboard on the back end. And so, for example, you can, uh, in our champions overview tab, you can look for um, groups, you know, if maybe you're looking for anyone that you've tagged as Walmart, and you could also search for anyone whose email address includes walmart.com, right? And this is a way, by the way, so not just uh, to identify your volunteers who could already submit, right? They can actually, you know, these are these are hours that they can already submit for reimbursement, if you will, or or for matching dollars. Um, but this could be someone that can help you connect to their HR person, to somebody that you know, if you can get a group out there, right? This is a, this is a potentially a way into these organizations, right? These volunteers that you already have um, at your organizations, right? So yeah, don't forget about your current volunteers. Yeah, they can always be very helpful. And then the last one, right? So, you know, reach out to uh, um, any corporate engagement leads, right? That you might have. Uh, some even the, some of the smaller organizations may or may not have this program. You might plant the seed for them uh, to to do this, right? And so, um, if for the folks that already engage a lot of corporations, you know, with your volunteering. Um, you know, this, this, you know, might be worth asking the question, right? If you're not sure if they have a program like this, be like, Hey, did you, you know, I was wondering, you know, do you guys have, I, you know, I just learned about this on this webinar. Um, but you know, it'd be a great opportunity. Obviously you guys already do so much work for us. Um, but I wanted to take advantage if there was a program like this. And Jay, I see what if we don't have volunteers from these companies yet? Do a president or create a flyer? Yeah, that's a great question. So if you don't have any volunteers from these companies or these corporations, um, how do you go about recruiting them? Um, I would say there's, if I were, you know, I think there's um, one thing, right? So this is step five, which is uh, one opportunity could be to leverage your board, right? A lot of your board members are very well connected in the community, right? They might have connections into these organizations at a, Know, somewhat senior level. Um, and even if, you know, let's say the board member only knows their, you know, GM or or, or manager, um, and that manager may or may not be overseeing this program specifically, but they'll know, right, who to, you know, hand you off to, right, that the HR person, the um, that's running this program, right? The the other way to, uh, to, to go about this, right, is uh, LinkedIn is a great tool. And so you can look for um, idols in LinkedIn as well, right? And so if you're looking around you, right, if you have a specific company, you can find someone that has the sort of uh, human resources title, right? Um, and, and if you can't find that specifically, recruiting, right, they're always within the HR realm. Um, and that could be somebody uh, that, that could at least put you in, in touch with the right person. The other thing, you know, um, you know, I think uh, from a presentation or a flyer, the thing to uh, to think about is potentially talk about, you know, have less around this specific opportunity around like, hey, by the way, could we get matching grants from you, right? Like that's, um, there's, there's not a lot in it for them when you're pitching, uh, but more, you know, from a corporate standpoint, the reason a lot of times they do these group volunteering is around team building, it's around the PR, right? It's around the, 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 you know, taking the photos and sharing it on LinkedIn to show that they're a great company to work for, right? And, and so, you know, I would I would lean into that right? and say, hey, you know, we're really looking to, to partner with um, organizations that care about our local community, um, right? And, 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 you know, we have this opportunity where we're looking for a group 
of 20 to 30 employees potentially, uh, but happy to maybe craft something that makes sense for you all. Uh, for you know, We think it's a great team building uh, experience as well. People really love it. Um, you know, is that something that, you know, your, you think your employees uh, would like to do sometime here the next quarter, right? And a lot of these, these folks, right, you have to think, they're actually tasked to do this, uh, you know, once a year, once a quarter. And so if you're teeing it up for them, you're just making the job easier, right? Because otherwise they'd have to go out and find, you know, a nonprofit that can support their staff and right and, um, and and reach out. And so now you're like, oh, let me come to you, right? Let me make this easy on you. Just come to us, right? We'd love to have you. Um, and, and so, uh, you know, make, make it easy for them to say yes, right? All right, so um, what's the impact that this could have? For folks, right? So, uh, no, no, you know, this is just multiplication, right? But I thought I we just walk through a couple examples here, and so if you have twelve volunteers and they volunteer for a day with you, this is for that group volunteering, and let's say the match from the company is ten dollars an hour, right? Then that's a twelve hundred dollar check that 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 would imply for you, right? Um, alternatively, right? If you had fifty volunteers, they only volunteered half a day, same rate you know, $2,000 check, right? So start to think about like, okay, you know, could, could I support this many folks if I did? You know, what, what's the financial impact here, right? Is it worth my time? Um, or you could go the sort of more targeted approach, right? You only have five dedicated volunteers. They do 48 hours with you, right? Maybe you have a program, you know, you invite them in. Uh, you know, maybe it's a mentorship program, uh, but you're recruiting from corporations anyway. So maybe be strategic and recruit from the ones that, do matching grants, right? Um, and if they do ten dollars an hour, right, that's twenty four hundred dollars. Um, and again, you know, for these folks especially, they're obviously invested in your organization. They spent so much time with you already, and so if there's an easy way for you to say, hey, by the way, you can your 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 employer um, will support us financially with by by you just submitting a, a quick form. Like that's, that's a, for me, at least a, a sort of a no brainer, right? It's like, oh, well, great. And so, and this is, of course, these are the sort of immediate direct benefits, right? To think about, um, in addition to the fact that you are uh, increasing your capacity, of course, you're, you're building relationships, maybe you're also able to leverage this to match other grants. And so, um, you know, I wouldn't dismiss some of the ancillary benefits uh, in addition to the direct um financial ones. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, I, yeah, I don't see any other questions. So, um, in terms of, you know, learning takeaways, right? So, um, I would say, uh, actually, we skipped this part, but <laughs> um, one of the things I thought about including today was, you know, some people were asking, you know, what, what you know, is, is we, had, we had a presentation around trends very recently, um, but basically at a high level, Volunteering is back at pre-COVID or, or slightly higher levels from all indicators that we can see internally, but also from other outside uh, data points. Um, the second thing here, right, is volunteer matching grants are a great way to raise money, recruit volunteers, and retain existing volunteers, right, that come to, you know, give them an incentive to come back. Um, and then if you're to get started, start looking at your national employers that are in your community um, and to start taking advantage of volunteer matching grants. If you want to chat more about this, always happy to chat. Um, so, you know, this is my LinkedIn. Uh, this is my email, my phone number. Um, you know, so feel free to re reach out. Uh, our, our Indianapolis friends that I saw here, right, uh, you know, feel free to uh, reach out if you want to uh, meet up in person. Um, I'm also oftentimes in Pittsburgh, which also means I drive through uh, Columbus. <laughs> so if you're on that route, uh, that makes it easy for me. And then... Um, a couple things, right? So one is, uh, you know, we have a, you know, for for webinar employee uh, uh, attendees, we have two months free um, if you book a demo with us um, as a as sort of a small uh, offer. And then if you're interested, um, Emma actually provides a free consultation on grant writing as well. So if you're looking, one of the things we partner with folks uh, to do, if you say, hey, I'd love to write sort of a technology oriented grant 
uh, with my local foundation or something like that. Um, we've done a number of those uh, uh, with some of our uh, customers, right? Raised uh, over $2 million um, in, in terms of funding for, for folks, um, you know, Obviously, we get a, a chunk of that to support your, uh, you know, volunteer management platform here. Uh, but that's if that's interesting, you know, feel free to reach out. And then our upcoming webinars that we have on the agenda. Um, so we have one next week uh, with our friends from Sure Impact, and we're going to be talking about impact metrics um, that that drive increased volunteer engagement, and additional revenue. So really thinking about how do you communicate the impact. Your volunteers are having. How do you measure that? Um, and so, sure, impact as you can imagine, uh, that's their specialty, right? They're 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 all about impact measurement, impact tracking. And then on uh, a little ways out on March seventh, uh, we have Julia Campbell, uh, who is super awesome, uh, and she's going to talk about how to grow your volunteer program through social media. Um, she's definitely, uh, I would say, probably the expert in the space here on that. Um, I was embarrassed she invited me to help do a presentation uh, on that topic for uh, for their, you know, marketing uh, conference one time. And I thought, man, you know, really, they should just hear from <laughs> Julia. Um, but it was it was flattering that she thought of us. Right. So but we're going to have her back. And so please sign up for that. And if we register, will we be on your email list? Yes, if that's OK. If you don't want to let me know, we can certainly. Um, uh, not include you, Michelle, but but um, by default um, you are okay. Great, awesome, um, and that's how you know we'll we'll share sort of the uh, presentation back out with everyone, so you have a copy. Um, yeah, hopefully this is this is helpful. I know today was a little bit shorter uh, from a presentation, uh, but I wanted to uh, just kind of get to the point <laughs> more quickly. Uh, but yeah, any other? Let me see any other questions, real areas. Do not have a lot of what can you do? Um, yeah, Emma said, you know, we can help source uh, local foundation. Um, and if you don't have a lot of national businesses, yeah, that's a little bit tougher to take advantage of the corporate volunteering grants. Um, but like Emma says, we can uh, certainly uh, help with local grants from your community foundation. Um, but generally, I would say almost everyone has a Starbucks, right? And so, you know, that's... Uh, that's one reason we we highlighted those brands is like, well, you probably have an Exxon somewhere in town, right? You probably have a Walmart. You probably have, uh, you know, some of these organizations. So hopefully, even if you're in a, a more rural destination, um, there's a, a, at least a few of these brands around you. Um, and yes, we will send up more details about signing up for uh, the upcoming webinars. Uh, and if you go to uh, civicchamps.com backslash webinar, um, you'll see uh, some of those upcoming ones as well and, and have the opportunity uh, to sign up for them. Yes, awesome. Thank you, Emma. But let me, I'll, I'll pause there. If there's no other questions, I'm happy to let folks go. Um, thank you so much for, for attending. This is, you know, hopefully folks got a lot out of this. Um, yeah. So, and it's good to see some of you. I, I know some familiar faces uh, are, are on the webinar. It's always great to see folks come back. All right. Excellent, everyone. We'll give you back a few uh, uh, 25 minutes uh, to maybe uh, grab that lunch that you might have skipped. <laughs> All right. Take care, everyone.